Okay, so my Premiere is crashing during renders. It crashes with the media encoder and it crashes directly when, ren when, when rendering directly off Premiere Pro itself. So I'm going to try and document this just in case I find a solution. Okay, so I'm going to open my project. Okay, so it's finished loading all those files. I'm going to render load the settings to render this out. Export me. And I have some presets here. I'll set this one, which is insane. The bit rate on this is really high, the frame rate's high. It's 1080p, the audio is high. It's nuts, and you might think that's the cause of the problem. I've already edited out a bunch of videos for this band at those settings, and it was fine. Just one day it decided it wasn't going to work anymore, so we'll give this another try. Here we go. If I hit export, it'll run the render inside Premiere. I'm going to hit Q and see if this problem is still there. Okay, so Premiere is loaded, there's the file that I want to render out, I'm going to hit go, and probably it will crash my whole system. Actually, I should prepare for that, hang on. Okay, I've closed all my other shit, and let's see if this will work. Okay, here we go. Go. Not even six seconds. Not even six seconds and I can't even move the fucking mouse anymore. So it's that's it, it's balked. Started it. Nothing's hot. Fan isn't really blowing, it's pretty much just sitting there idle doing nothing. So there's only one solution for it and that's the final solution. We're gonna kill him. Die bitch die. Okay, plan B, let's see if it's a corrupt project file. So I've loaded a different project, completely different project, it's even saved on a different drive, and I've exported that to Media Encoder, and we'll see if that will run. So my theory is that there's something buggy in the music videos, because there's a lot of multi-camera and effects and everything, something in there has probably gone haywire. Okay, here we go. Looking good so far. And that is rendering. So there we have it. There's the solution. It's something wrong with the project file or some kind of corruption with the files inside the project file. So now I just need to figure out how to fix that. Here's another little test since I know that the good the other project file will render. I've just seen it doing that. Let's see if, if that will render now that we know that it is still capable of rendering. And probably this will span of the whole system. So see if it works or not. Probably won't. Uh, it's looking okay. And no, no, actually I haven't fixed it, it is still fucked. Okay, so I've had this idea that if I start a new project, maybe I can import the media files from that to the new project and I won't have to waste a whole lot of time re-editing the whole thing again. So I'm going to try that. So here I've made a new project and I've imported the files and I've saved it, so now I'm just going to switch to the other file and see if I can load in the sequences. Okay, so here we've got one of the videos that won't render and there's a multicam 
sequence. This is inside the multicam, so it's the sort of thing I'm going to do. Just grab all these files. So I'll grab all of that, copy, and then switch back to the other project. It's probably a bad idea. Uh, where is it? That one. And see if I can just paste these into the timeline. Boom. So now all I need to do is create another multicam sequence. It's multicam. Drop that in there. Control, double click. Boom. So now I can edit what's inside that multicam. Delete those files out. Paste in the ones that we've got. Boom. There's my multicam from the other project into this one and now I can go into here and here is my multicam sequence Ta-da! So now all I need to do is use the multicam editor and chop 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 cut that up and I should be good to go so we'll do a bit of that and see how that works out Hmm. Well, I haven't got so far as to cut it up and edit it yet, but it's already behaving strangely, so I'm just going to edit it from scratch for those videos and see if it will render out on that, which will add about an hour's work, but hopefully just by doing it that way, I'll know whether it was the project stuff that got screwed up or whether there's some problem with the files. Okay, do you see this shit here, all this red? In between switching between projects to try and copy some files over, Adobe has corrupted the entire audio for this for this video. So I'm now gonna have to go into the auto saves, scrap this particular project file, and use one of the auto saves, because that's how much of a piece of shit Adobe is. Fuck you, Adobe. Okay, so here's that same video. I've remade the whole video from scratch after that last abortion. And I'm going to export this. There we go. And that in coder. And now we will very shortly know if it's the files or the project. Go. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Oh, I can't move my mouse. I can't move my mouse. Oh. No, it's fucked. So something is wrong with that project. I don't know what it is, but something is causing it to crash on render. Uh, I suspect it might be the f frame rate conflict between the GoPro, my camera, and the other guy's camera footage that I got a little bit of. So the next step will be to test that. Okay, so I've done some modifications to the edit and I've removed the extra footage which was at 24 frames per second which I think is possibly the cause of the problem. So we're about to launch the encoding process and find out if that is in fact the case probably won't make a shit of difference, but here goes. Moving mouse, 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 moving Oh, frozen. No, it's fucked. Okay, so I tried some things and managed to get something to render, so I'm gonna see if I can repeat this again. So I've gone back to the original project and we're gonna try and Repeat the steps. Export. No, so now if I go back to this preset that I had, this one here, so we go through the settings here. If 
Well, let's see how crazy this is. Now, this thing here, render at maximum depth, maximum bit depth. Didn't have that check. That's all I did with the other one. Check that box and set it off to do its thing. Audio is all still the same. Yeah, it's fine. Go. And I'm going to close that. I'll probably close that too. So there's nothing else going but the encoder. You can see there, there's the project that we did before. That one worked alright. So now we're going for this one. On the same settings. Hey, there we go. <sighs> go. Ten, eleven. Well, it's already running longer than it was before. That looks like it's rendering. So I think that's the solution. Somewhere along the line, the settings required the maximum bit, bit depth box to be checked. So if you've just had the same problem as me, hopefully you've watched the video long enough to see this bit. That's the fix. Thanks for watching.